So today we're going to do the final steps um, of adding the birds to your antlers and then adding the snow. And I'm going to use a Q-tip, but you can also use the end of a brush for the snow as well. So if we look at our I can statement, it says, Today I will learn about unity so that I can repeat the same semicircle shape for all my birds' bodies to give my artwork the sense of wholeness. Okay, so, and these are two samples, of course. So you'll be given a sheet like this, a couple of these sheets actually for your table, and the unity you see is that consistent semicircle in the body. So the, all the bodies start with a semicircle, there's just different sizes of them, okay? And then that's what kind of brings them all together. Then you can see some unity on some of the wings, one's flipped um, down on the, on the body, one's up. Um, one's a little smaller, one's triangular. So all those little a extra aspects will make a, you each look unique, but the unity that brings it together is going to be the bodies, okay? So I have made several of the bodies um, and added the wings. So I've got some of mine started. And then what you're gonna do is you wanna create a semicircle. So what I like to do is kind of cut along the edge between where you, um, um, you paint it, and then I'm gonna make a little semicircle. And this one's gonna be a little smaller body. And then I'm kind of looking at what other colors I've used, so I'm gonna kind of change it up so it's not all exact. So for this one, maybe I'm gonna make the wing. Let's see, I'll we'll do another semicircle. I'm kind of liking that semicircle consistency. So I've got my wing here. I can have it flying up like that. I can look to see here. Maybe I want my beak to be this orange color. And then the tail, let's see. I'll have it this, this orange color here too. I kind of like it. So the different shade of orange. So this one. So my tail, I'm going to make it kind of like kind of like a triangle without the tip. I can keep it pointy or round it. I'm kind of liking that as my, my design. Okay, so I'm gonna glue it on. And remember, we don't need a lot of glue. A little glue goes a long way. So I could have done two dots in there or kind of a circle like I did. Then you place it on there, hold it down so it stays. Then the tail, I'm gonna kind of put behind. So I'm gonna do a little dot here and place that right behind there. If it's sticking out too much, I can just slide it under a little more. If I got a little bit too much um, glue, I just can wipe it off with my finger or paper towel. I'm gonna give that a little hold so it stays. And then my beak, I'm also going to place behind. And then some of these have little, like, let's see, there we go. Some of these have on it, holding this little tufts of fur at the top. I could totally add that as well. And then I'm going to use this little china marker to do like a little U shape for the eye. Um, you can see some of them I went under and some of them I went over. Okay. Once you have about five of your birds, you're going to get your picture. Oh, I need to do one more. That's okay. I'm going to pretend that I have five. And then you kind of arrange where do you want the bird setting on your antlers. Let's see, I kind of like him over there. I could have one. I could even have this little guy sitting on his nose. So it's up to you where you want to place your birds. Okay, so I like to have them all finished first before I place them. And then when I'm ready, I'm going to glue it down. So I'm going to literally put glue kind of around the edge, maybe one dot at the beak. And normally I say a 30 second hold works great, um, but for this, I'm gonna get hold it for a good minute. So mine's actually even kind of going off the edge of the paper a little bit. I'm trying to cover up some black dots in there, that's why. I'm gonna give that a good hold so it lays nice and flat. If you just hold it a short time and it doesn't have time to really adhere to the surface, uh, or sticks to the surface, then um, it will kind of flip up on the end. So you really want to make sure you hold it like a good minute, sometimes two. If you added too much glue, 
then two minutes might be what you need to do. So then I would glue all my other ones down and then check, did I outline mine already? I did. And then the very last step will be taking either a Q-tip or the end of a brush and you'll literally just dip it into the paint and you just add paint little dots all over your picture, even on top of your birds. So it's snow is falling over the caribou, the bird and all that. And that is your final step with painting. And then you'll fill out the evaluation sheet and um, turn that in together.